I'm Mina. I have two younger brothers who are twins. My mother was constantly telling us how he don't have much money, so I started working part-time after getting into university. I put all the money I made into the family account. Sorry, Mina, for making you do this. It's fine. I want Rhea and Kazuo to go to university as well, so I think I'm cut out for the job. I really enjoy it. I worked at a restaurant. The manager is a nice person and the staff was really close. I enjoyed every single day. But there were things I didn't like about my job either. Hey! I told you to bring me a beer, girl! Hurry up! I'm terribly sorry. I'll bring it right away. If you're sorry, why did you let us touch those tits? I'm sorry, but that isn't that kind of place. Drunk customers would come up to me and give me trouble. But the manager and other staff would come and help me, so I didn't consider quitting because of this. But still, they are such assholes, giving me trouble like that even though they're fully grown men. I was around them when I got into my third year, and I had finished getting most of the credits I needed and increased the number of shifts. Hey, you work at the place, don't you? Huh? Um... We got banned from that place because of... That was the cheapest place you could get food and drinks. What are you gonna do about it? Don't say that to me. Could you let me through? Nope. I won't let you through unless you apologize for banning us. Yeah, why don't you apologize? Come on, put your head on the ground! Please stop! They're the two that got banned by the manager because they always got drunk and made problems. They both had red faces and seemed very drunk. They blocked my way even though I tried to run. I was so scared that I almost cried. But just then... Hey, stop! Can't you tell she wants to go? The man who was walking by came in to stop them. Why don't you just leave them alone? What are you saying? How could I ignore this situation? Hey, you guys! Do you know her? Even if you did, that doesn't give you the right to hit her! Are you alright? Yeah, thank you. What the hell? Do you think you're some kind of hero or something? I'll beat you up if you can't annoy us anymore! Does that badge mean you work for Uasa Corporation? You'll be fired if you make a problem. I hear they're real strict about their employers making problems. What the hell? Shut up! Well, it won't be a problem if you keep quiet about it. If you don't want to get hurt, you should. Even if I stayed quiet, look, there's a security camera. If you do anything to this woman, I think I will record it. If you don't mind ruining your lives right now, then do what you want. What the hell? Come on, let's go. I'll, I'll let you go this time. You better watch back. They said the cheesiest words that even fictional characters wouldn't even say these days and left. Thank you so much. You saved me. Don't worry about it. But you shouldn't go through this road because not many people walk through here, and you occasionally find people like them. Yeah, I'll make sure I walk through the main road even if it takes a little more time. That's a good idea. Can we get going? I'm starving. Yeah, coming. I'll be going now. <laughs> Thank you so much. From the next day, I walked down the main road to get to work. I didn't get involved in any more trouble with drunks after that and was able to graduate university. I applied to companies in the restaurant industry and I got an office job from one of them. I'll continue helping this family. Thanks, but you should use some of that for yourself, you know? You can help the family when you can and that's more than enough. My mom says that, but... My mom and dad's income combined wasn't enough to let my brothers go to university. So I commuted from home and continued paying money to my parents. So I started getting used to the job as well. One year later... I'm Shota Suga. Nice to meet you all. Is that person by any chance? The man who transferred to my office looked familiar. Um, hi. I'm Mina Takase. Do you by any chance remember me? 
Um, have we met before? Uh, two years ago, in a side street behind an izakaya. You helped me when I was in trouble with some drunk people. Drunk people? Oh, that girl! Yeah, I remember. You remember? Thank you so much for what you did back then. He was the guy who had helped me from the drunks. After that, I was assigned to the same team as Shota, and we started to talk frequently. We went for lunch or drinks, and we even went to watch movies together. I feel relaxed when I'm with you, Mina. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yes, me too. So we dated for a year and a half and got married. Congratulations, Shota! You're lucky to have a beautiful wife. Thanks, Tatsuya. Mina, take care of Shota. Of course. We were blessed by both of our relatives and had a wonderful wedding. But things started to go wrong. My husband told me he wanted to live together in his mother's house to save up and buy a new car. So I agreed to it, but... When are you going to have a child? Women have nothing else to do but to give birth to children. You're completely worthless not being able to do the one thing you were born to do. My mother-in-law was a very oppressive person. She didn't really talk much when I met her, or at the wedding. And not only was she problematic, but Shota also changed his attitude the moment we got married. I want to show my mom her grandchild as soon as possible. Since my dad passed away two years ago, my mom has lost the meaning of life, so please, get pregnant. I want a child too. But it's stressful being asked when I'm going to have a child every single day. What the hell? Are you blaming my mom? I'm not saying it's her fault, but I just want you to tell her to be a little bit more considerate. My mom is looking forward to having a grandchild. How could I say such a horrible thing? You should try harder. Everything will be fine as long as you get pregnant. Ah! He protects his mother all the time. His mother was his top priority. They would even go to expensive French restaurants while I was out. And they would even go on holidays without telling me. You're back. Where did you go? Hokkaido. Here. This isn't a souvenir, is it? It's the dirty clothes, obviously. Clean it up. My mom's as well. Why did you go without telling me? Don't you think that's mean? <laughs> but my mom will feel left out if you're there. We want to spend time with the family without being interrupted by others. What do you mean? I thought I became part of a family when we got married. Family even though you can't have kids? <laughs> Are you kidding? If you want to be family, why don't you get pregnant? I bet my mom will invite you once you give birth to her grandchild. My husband kept blaming me for everything, saying that I was infertile. My mother would even go through the sanitary box to check if I was still having my period. I've had enough! I can't get pregnant with all this stress! I at least want to live separately from your mom! Are you saying that my mom is the source of the stress? I want to divorce anyone who says anything against my mother! What are you arguing about? I hear something about divorce. She says she can't get pregnant because of the stress here. What a bitch. Oh, then I guess you should just divorce her. I don't need a daughter-in-law who can't even have children. But it's your fault that you're getting divorced, so we need compensation. What? Even though I did nothing wrong? I was... I just wasn't able to get pregnant! Why would I pay a single penny? I'm the one who should get compensation. Why the hell should I give you money? You're not making sense at all. I wonder if you've gone crazy because you couldn't get pregnant. We are getting divorced because you can't have a child. It's your fault. So that's why you have to pay. Do you get it? I've made it so much easier for you to understand. How could I possibly accept that? Let's see. The wedding, the living expenses. I think it will be about $50,000 altogether. 50,000? What makes you think I'll pay that? Are you out of your mind? You're the crazy one. Look, if you're going to get divorced, you pay. You've wasted so much of our time. You better pay. I told you I'm not going to pay. 
It was just when the arguing got intense, the doorbell rang and a voice saying I've brought some crabs came from the other side. Go and get the door. Just go, would you? But isn't that voice Tatsuya? Wouldn't it be better if one of you got the door? I can't be bothered. Just go. That's about the only thing you can do. Yeah, just go and get the door. Oh no, the tea has gone cold. Pour me some hot tea when you get back. Shota made a motion to throw the remote control, and I got scared and headed to the entrance. The man standing there was Tatsuya, Shota's cousin who lived right across the street. A person at work gave this to me. I remember you saying you liked crabs, Mina. Wow, that's gorgeous. Thank you so much. It seemed like you were having an argument or something. But is everything all right? Oh, well, it's nothing. Okay. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to knock on my door. We are neighbors after all. So tell me if you need help. Okay, thanks. I thought of talking to Tatsuya about it, but it was too embarrassing to say that we were arguing because of my infertility. So I faked a smile and said goodbye. But I regret not telling Tatsuya about it. I wonder if we were going to have another argument. It was when I was trying to get into the house. Huh? Ah! My mother-in-law threw a plant pot from the second floor balcony. It's true that you can still see things in slow motion in these kinds of situations. I thought I heard my mother-in-law say, I hope you can have a child in the afterlife. The plant pot hit my face. At least I thought so. But the impact was a lot smaller than I imagined. Are you alright? Uh, Tatsuya! Tatsuya protected me from the plant pot. He hid it away with his hands, and although he got some dirt on him, he wasn't injured. I'm glad it wasn't a heavy pot. I'm fine, so you don't have to worry about me. But the dirt... More importantly... Auntie! What the hell were you thinking?! That pot would have hit Mina directly if I wasn't there! It seems as though Tatsuya realized that she was holding a plant pot to throw it down, so he quickly came back to protect me. The argument after that was intense. You have nothing to do with this, Tatsuya. This is our problem. I was just punishing the useless wife. She could have died if it hit her in a bad spot. Say something, Shota! Your mom threw a plant pot at your wife! But she was fine, right? It's her fault because she's useless. Are you seriously saying that? Oh, shut up! This is how we do stuff! It's none of your business! What a load of crap! Mina, I'm sure you're tired of staying in a house like this. You'll probably surprise your parents if you go home all of a sudden. So would you like to stay at my house and think about what you'll do about all this? Well, um, would that be alright? Who says you can do that? Mina has to prepare for dinner after this! Yeah, you can't just take her. Mina, I won't allow you to go with Tetsuya. I'll make the compensation a hundred thousand. Compensation? Did you do something, Mina? No, nothing. They say that it's my fault I can't get pregnant and are telling me to pay fifty thousand dollars as compensation. What the hell? Shota! It could be the husband's fault that you can't have a baby. Haven't you ever thought about the possibility that you're seedless? You should know that too if you're a woman, Auntie. How the heck would I know? How could it be my fault? Yeah, how could my sweet Shota have any faults? What a terrible thing to say. I won't tolerate that kind of behavior even if you are his cousin. I couldn't comprehend this unbelievable situation, but I suddenly came back to my senses and spoke. Um, I did a post-coital test, and I got results saying that Shota's stuff isn't very active, and that the number is a little small. I've only tested it once, so I was going to tell you after doing another test, but... They glared at me as if I was the stupid one because it was so sudden. But after fully explaining it to them, they went pale. I should have told you when we were arguing earlier. I thought it was going to be embarrassing for Shota if I said it in front of, of your mom. And I thought it would be better to tell you after I did another test. So I didn't say, but it doesn't matter anymore. 
Your mother threw a plant pot at me. I don't give a damn anymore. Let's get divorced. I'm not paying anything, and I'll make you pay compensation, so you better be prepared. I asked Tatsuya if I could stay at his for one night, because I don't know what these people would do to me if I were to stay here, and two of them finally understood what was going on and went mad. This is outrageous! We have to pay? Are you saying that I'm seedless? What kind of lie is that? I won't forgive you for this! <laughs> Haven't you had enough? Even without the argument, what you did, Auntie, is a case of assault. If you do get divorced, there's no doubt that Mina will have the advantage. Shut up! We can just say that the plant pot happens to fall from the balcony! Yeah, it was a coincidence. I didn't do anything wrong. It was all Mina's fault. It's all the useless wise fault who couldn't even get knocked up. You're still going on about that? Mina, if you have to take this to court, you can use the security camera footage from my front garden. Security camera? Oh, that! Yeah, I got a notice saying that there are quite a lot of robberies recently, so I got it last week. The camera records things that happen here, too, so I think it caught you throwing the plant pot at her. If that's the case, you better prepare yourself. They were shouting something behind me, but I ignored them and followed Tatsuya. I stayed at Tatsuya's for the night and then went back home the following morning. I sent a copy of the security camera footage and the name card of my lawyer to Shota and his mother. They suddenly became quiet and called me, trying to sound sweet as a kitten. I'm sorry, I won't blame you for saying you're infertile, so forgive me! Divorce? Don't say such a sad thing. Come back, Mina. I don't want to. If you don't want to pay extra, hurry up and sign the divorce papers and pay the goddamn money. If you have anything you want to say, you can talk to my lawyer. <laughs> Thanks to Tatsuya, who talked to one of their relatives who was in charge of everything, they raised the white flag and accepted all the conditions and got divorced. <laughs> he helped quite a bit, so there was enough cash, so they had to sell their expensive bags and kimonos. Ignored the messages in their phone saying that should haunt me in my sleep, but I just ignored and deleted them. It's all her fault anyways. One year later, I started dating Tatsuya. It all started when I met with him to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, I was able to get divorced. I'm so sorry for what Shota and my aunt did to you. Shota always was shy and quiet outside, but was bossy to his relatives. I guess he didn't change even though he got married. I see. Shota saved me for some drunk people from a long time ago, so I didn't think he'd have an ugly personality. He did that? That doesn't sound like him at all. He was always the one telling me to keep out of other people's business from behind. Really? Yeah. There was this one time quite a while ago when I saved a girl who was being trapped by two drunks in the side road. Shota was just saying that we shouldn't get involved because it's dangerous. So, you were the one that saved me back then, Tatsuya? I completely thought that the person who saved me was Shota. I had been mistaken. The good-looking guy that saved me was Tatsuya. The one that was telling me not to get involved in trouble was Shota. He lost weight after that because his job was super hard. But I, on the other hand, gained weight because I was really into ramen. But who would have guessed that that woman was Mina? It was quite dark, so I didn't remember very clearly. Thank you so much for what you did back then. Even this time as well. You've been saving me all this time. Since then, we started talking and started dating a year later. We later got married and lived together in a house a little far from his parents. The house was a present for my brothers who graduated university and started working. Apparently they made a lot of money through stocks. They bought the stock that their friend from uni recommended them. So the money I paid them was a very good investment. Did you hear? Shota's house got robbed. What? The burglar came in through the balcony door that was open and took gold, valuables and everything. How unfortunate. I see. 
Shota's house was out for sale at the end of the year because they had to pay me the compensation and were robbed of most of their valuables and couldn't continue to live like they used to. I don't know what happened to them after that. I have a happy life, so I don't need to know. I want to have a wonderful life with Tatsuya. It just moved. Look, my stomach, it's moving. Oh yeah, is this the foot or is it the hand? Wow, you can tell the shape from here. I'm sure it'll be an energetic baby just like you. We were blessed with a baby. My life had only just begun. I'm Ayane. I lost my left leg in an accident when I was a child. So I have a prosthetic. You might think I have an unhappy life if you just hear this, but that isn't the case. I have a wonderful family. Let's break up! I can't live with someone with a flabby stomach like yours. Here, sign this! Wait, wait! Don't leave me, Rin! I'll lose weight, so don't leave me! Um, wonderful. What is this awkward situation? What are you guys doing? Do you want to join mommy? We're pretending to be a real couple. Everyone's doing it at nursery. My friend Sumomo is really good at pretending to be the mean mother-in-law. That's the case. <laughs> All the kids are so mature these days. It's educational even for me. I should lose weight. Otherwise, Ayane will really... I don't think they are exactly mature, but anyways, can't you do something else? And why are you stopping her, Haruto? Sorry. But these kinds of conversations are heartwarming too. No more pretending to be real couples. Then, Daddy, let's play baseball. Everyone is playing baseball too. I'll be the person who throws. So, Daddy, you be the person to hit. Okay, I'll hit a home run. You two, if you're going to play baseball, do it outside. Okay. okay. We could play baseball inside if our home was bigger. I won't let you play inside even if we had a big home. But I've got to say, it's becoming a little cramped. Rin will get bigger, and you said you wanted to move as well, right? Yeah, I wonder if there are any good places. Then why don't we go for a viewing for the new apartment in front of the station? I want to check it out. We got a leaflet for it, and I've been thinking about it. What? Anywhere but that place? Huh? Why? You know why I don't want to go. It's because of that. Oh, now that you mention it... But come on, you shouldn't worry about it. No, you don't understand. That's why you can say that. I want to go! I want to go! I want to go and see the apartment! I've never been! Please, Mommy? But... I'm definitely going no matter what! See? Rin wants to go so much. Let's give it a try. Fine. The two of them convinced me and we decided to go for a viewing of the apartment on Saturday. Why did it have to be that apartment? We could at least go to a different one. I'm Katsuya Naito. I don't want to brag, but I'm an elite real estate agent. I get the most contracts and everyone admires me. My job is super easy. If I do it, I can get anyone to sign a contract. My job is so easy that it can even get boring. But my life hasn't always been so easy. I'm back! You're home. What's for dinner? It's stir-fried bean sprouts. Again? Yeah, sorry. Ah. You mustn't become like me, Katsuya. Do you understand? Who would want to be like you? I'm going to be rich! <laughs> okay. But I want you to have a rich heart. Rich heart? What's the point in that? Like this, my mother was a single mother and we were very poor. She was often rejected at work at certain places because she had a prosthesis. That was one of the reasons we didn't have much money. People would tease me about being poor and that my mom had a prosthesis. That's why I hated my mom. She's already passed away, but I still hate her. That's why I get chills when I see poor people like my mom. I remember what it was like back then. Hello. Oh, here come today's victims. I'll make some money out of you people. Thank you. Hi. Apartment.
Dad, apartment! We came. Don't worry. You're worrying too much. You're lucky. You don't know what he's really like. Hi, I'm Suzumori. I booked a viewing for the apartment. We've been expecting you. Please, take a seat. Suzumori? Oh, I think they booked for a viewing for the deluxe apartment. So they're my victims today, then. But they don't look rich. I just got chills. That's why I hate seeing poor people. I bet they don't have the money to buy the apartment. What are they here for? Are they here just for fun? What the hell? The wife has a prosthesis? Shit! I have to deal with that? What luck. Poor with a prosthesis. That's literally my mom! I might just make my Kohai Kinashi deal with this. But I have a feeling he was meeting a client this morning. So I have to deal with this. I can't be bothered to do this. This is such a pointless viewing. I'll just get it done quickly. I'm Naito. I will show you around today. Rin is Rin. Nice to meet you. That was a nice introduction, Rin. I look forward to seeing the place. Me too. We don't have much time, so we'll head straight for the apartment. We can't stay for very long, so keep it short, please. It's a super popular apartment, so we are fully booked for viewings. Really? Ah, uh, well, I mean it's a prime location, isn't it? I'm so excited! I'm excited too! Ah. <sighs> Where do you live right now? We live in a small apartment nearby. Just as I thought. What was that? Oh, nothing! So they are poor. Why do I have to deal with people like them? I want to get this done with and go for lunch. Come on, chop chop! And we got to the apartment. Please wear slippers inside. Don't make any mess, please. Wow, this is huge! We could play baseball! You actually could! Maybe I should have brought a bat from home. Hey, don't say weird stuff. Naito is looking troubled. <laughs> it's fine. You can check whatever you want. We don't have much time, so please make it quick, though. Okay. Huh. The wife looks a little dissatisfied with my attitude. How annoying. You should be thankful that I'm even doing any of this. But this room is so nice. I'm in love with it. Mommy, could we have an elephant if we lived here? Having an elephant as a pet is my dream. That sounds a little tough. Oh, shut up. Did you say something? N nothing You could have a cat or a dog, you know. Really? I want one! Daddy, let's live here! <laughs> it seems like you really like it here. I think this would be a nice place to live, too. But we're still out on our first viewing, so we'll take a look at several others as well. I think this apartment is nice, but, you know... You're still worried about that? Yeah. Is everything alright? It's... nothing. I did it unconsciously again! They can't afford it anyways, why even consider it? I don't have time to play along with your delusions. I'm going to have ramen at Uwasaya for lunch today. I need to get there early, otherwise I'll have to wait in the line. Come on and get it done with! This family is so annoying! The wife in particular. How dare you even step into this deluxe apartment with your dirty old prosthesis! Why don't you go back to your facility where you belong? Maybe I should put up a sign saying, no prostheses. Mommy, Daddy, let's go to the balcony. Okay. That sounds good. I bet the view from the balcony is great. Naito, is it alright if we go out on the balcony? Um, keep it under five minutes, please. The next customer will be coming soon, so... Of course, there is no next customer. I just want to get it done with. Okay, we won't take long. Okay, let's go. So I led the three of them to the balcony. Wow, you can see Mount Fuji from here. Mount Fuji. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, I got a phone call from work. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, it looks like Rin is enjoying the view, so we'll be here. Naito, is it alright if I take the call inside? Please. When the husband was walking back into the room, I thought of a great idea. 
these people are annoying, and I'm bored. I'll play around a little bit by giving her a little fright. I pushed the wife in the back while she was enjoying the view. Ah! Mommy, are you alright? I'm so sorry, I lost balance. Don't worry, I'm fine. Be careful! <laughs> okay, I didn't think she would lean so much with just a small push. I guess it's because she has a prosthesis. I wonder what will happen if I push her harder. I wonder how much she can endure. She's too much like my mom, and is annoying, so I might as well try. The husband isn't back, and even if she falls, their daughter will be the only witness. Okay, here goes! As I was about to push hard, the daughter realized what I was about to do. Oh well, I'll push anyways. Mommy, look out! Let me show the poor a wonderful view! Uh-huh. Mommy! What the hell do you think you're doing? Just then, the husband came out from the window. He grabbed his wife's hand and she disappeared from my sight. I had too much momentum and fell over the fence. Oh shit, I'm going to fall! Whoa! Are you joking? Am I going to die like this? Hang on! The husband grabbed my arm! Thank God, I thought I was going to die! I thought poor people were useless! But good job! Thank you so much! You saved me! Could you help me up? I have something to ask you before that! What were you trying to do to Ayane? Huh? I wasn't trying to do anything! I'll let go if you're going to lie! I lost balance and almost bumped into her! Bye! I'm lying, I'm sorry! I tried to push her for fun! For fun? The strength with which you were trying to push her seemed a lot stronger than just having fun! You even threw yourself off the balcony! Tell me honestly, my arm won't last forever! Sorry! I thought of pushing her off! I wanted to see how much she could endure with the prosthesis! I'm going to drop you! No! Please! Help me! Haruto, calm down. Rin is watching. Daddy, don't... Okay. And the husband pulled me up. Thank you so much. You saved me. I would have let go if it weren't for my wife and daughter. You should thank them. Thank you so much. I thought I'd die. I'll try and make an excuse for what I did and go back. Worst case scenario, I can give them money and shut them up. They're poor, so 10,000 bucks should do. Just as I was thinking that, someone came into the apartment. Huh? Kinashi? What do you do? Oh, Mr. Suzumori. Thank you for coming today. I'm Kinashi. The manager would have loved to be here, but unfortunately, he's ill, so I've come instead. Kinashi, would you please explain to me what's going on? The manager has the flu, so he told me to go. Because he's worried leaving them with you. What the hell? You won't be of any help. Go back! We just found out that they're really important customers. What? You know how you're sometimes rude to customers? That's why the manager got worried and sent me. Oh, my father told you about me? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hear all of that? Yeah. That's right. Your father contacted us earlier and told us to show you every room available. That's why I didn't want to come here. And why does Dad know we're here for a viewing today? I told Grandpa yesterday on the phone. Ren! What's so bad about that? Why do you try to avoid your father so much? Because he loves me too much. He might even give the whole apartment to me as a present if he found out I was here for a viewing. That's what he was saying yesterday. He said he'll give it to you for your birthday present. See? Huh? What are you talking about? Naito? I hope you haven't done anything rude to them. Have you? Is it bad? Did you do something? She's the owner's daughter. What? You're joking, right? Kinashi, why did you become a comedian? Oh no, you didn't. 
Mr. and Mrs. Suzumori, did Naito do anything rude at all? He tried to push my wife off the balcony. What the hell do you think you're doing, Naito? Um, well... I'm terribly sorry. I'll pay you money! We don't need your money. We're not poor. <laughs> but you said you live in a small apartment! I'm the owner of the apartment, so we live there. I make some investments in real estate. What?! I apologized many times, but I got fired for my behavior towards the owner's daughter, and my attitude in general towards customers. They reported the incident to the police. They checked the clothes the wife was wearing, and it had evidence that I pushed her, so I got arrested. I was to be put in jail for a while. My shiny days as a real estate agent are over. I was on the elite track. Who would have thought it would end like this? It's all because of that family! Damn! 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 I'll definitely get revenge on them one day! A few years later, I got out of jail and started working at an old, small real estate agency by handing in a fake CV. It's a place an old man runs by himself. Why does an elite like myself have to work in a shithole like this? But I guess I'm lucky even to have a job. I live every day of my life thinking about how to get revenge on that family. One day, we got a customer with a young child. They remind me of that family! I'm stuck in a place like this because of them! It might be right. It might be wrong. Now let me read you. A sumo mo. Mom, I told you to call me Mother Sumo Mo. Mother Sumo Mo? Apparently, Sumo Mo is into fortune telling recently. Fortune telling? I'm still scared because she told me I have a death mark. Don't worry, Dad. I'll change your fate. Believe in Sumo Mo. I believe in you, Mother Sumo Mo. Ah. <sighs> They look like more bothersome customers. Um, excuse me, how can I help? Yo, we've decided to move. And we're looking for an apartment. An apartment like Rin's. The place where Yanni and Haruto live. Yeah. Are there any nice apartments we could rent? Rin? Ayane? Haruto? It sounds familiar. It's the family that sent me to jail. Do they know that family? I know. I'll make this family suffer. I bet they'll feel responsible if they found out the family got hurt because of them. So I showed them an apartment. Please, come in. Wow, this place is gorgeous. Living in a deluxe apartment is a dream, isn't it? Mother Sumama will check the fortune of this apartment. Leave it to me. Oh, um, okay, I'll check out the balcony. Okay. Good, good, good. The wife went to the balcony. I'll push her off. Don't blame me, blame that family. Wow, what a wonderful view. I ran towards her from behind to push her off. <laughs> Prepare yourself, huh? Why isn't she there? At this rate, I'll fall again. Is this deja vu? Mom, over here. Huh? That place you were standing was a bad omen! This apartment isn't good! Mother Sumomo senses something evil! Whoa! What was that voice? Was it a ghost? Yeah! Like I said, I felt something evil! You're right, Sumomo. Let's go home. Yeah. Where did that guy go? Maybe he ran away after hearing that voice. What? What a coward! I got caught in a tree and was able to survive the fall, although I was badly injured. When I fell, I remembered my mom's words telling me to be a person with a rich heart. I did become rich, but I have to admit that my heart was very empty. The money that I earned somehow didn't satisfy me. That was why she told me to have a rich heart. The police asked me why I fell, so I told them the truth. I went back to prison to atone for my sins. 
this was how I, the elite real estate agent, turned out. I finally realized that it was all my fault. But it's too late. I wonder why I couldn't realize a little earlier. It was all too late. Mom! I was wrong! What a day. My dad got furious after that and was yelling that he was going to shut down the real estate agency. We decided we weren't going to move just yet. That's because we were blessed with a baby. We'll move once the baby is born and things go back to normal. We're not moving? We'll move once the baby is born and things settle down. Mommy, how many babies are you going to have? Well, I'm not sure. I want eight brothers and sisters. Huh? And my dream is to make a baseball team with them. And then we'll play against Sumomo's team. I made a promise with her. She said she'll have eight brothers and sisters too. So I want to move to a big apartment. Uh, eight? I need to work hard. Is that the problem? For now, I will concentrate on giving birth to this baby. I'll think about how many babies I want after that. The name's Heiji, the frightening Yakuza. Sorry to interrupt, but... I Inazuka? What are you mad at? My very precious car has a dent in it. Do you know anything about it? Not at all. I don't know anything at all. I definitely didn't play catch in front of your car. Hmm, so you played catch. Shit, I, uh, I gotta go. Hey, come back here! Are you playing tag? It looks fun. Would you like to play as well, miss? No, thanks. As you can see, I'm at the bottom of the hierarchy. I'm always being told off like this. This Aniki's Inazuka. Everyone says he's a demon and is scared of him. But because Miss doesn't have any friends at school, and he was ordered to be her friend by our family boss, I think he recently became a little nicer. I have a daughter. Her name's Hina. Miss is very cute, but my Hina's also super cute. But my ex-wife Kaori won't let me see her. But I guess it can't be helped because I'm in this sort of business. The reason we got divorced was Kaori's affair, but I think she was having an affair because I'm a Yakuza, so I can't really say anything. I really want to see Hina. I've got you now! Look, it's your favorite green pepper. You have to take responsibility by eating this. Please, anything but green peppers. I just can't! Ugh. But my ex-wife is kind of nice to me. She won't let me see her in person, but she lets me talk to her on the phone. So I decided to buy a computer. I'm currently at the electronics store to find a computer. Haven't the slightest clue which one I should get. And they're quite expensive too. Can't buy it with the amount I have on me. I think this one is good. It's cute. Miss? Miss, please. Don't just wander off. Don't follow me. But... Inazuka too? And what are you doing here, Heiji? Ah, well, um... He's going to buy a computer so that he can have a video call with Hina. Miss? How do you know? You were talking to yourself. Was I talking to myself? Yeah. Is Hina your daughter? Yeah, that's right. My ex-wife told me she'd let me have a video call with her. I see. Hey. Eh? What's this money for? Buy the best computer you can with high definition so that you can see Hina's face clearly with this money, alright? Inazuka, thank you so much! Now let's get going, miss. Do you want to go and have a chocolate sundae? I don't feel like it. Oh. These kinds of things are what make Inuzuka so admirable. I want to be like him, and be able to give my Shate money like this when they're in trouble. So I got a laptop right away with the money that Inuzuka gave me. Okay then, I'm gonna go set this up when I get home, and talk to Hina. I got back to my apartment and, is someone standing in front of my door? Hey, how long are you going to make us wait? Inuzuka? Why are you here? Miss didn't want a chocolate sundae, but instead wanted to play Mario Party. Apparently everyone at school is playing it. I see. I bought the game, so we're going to do it at your place. Why my place? Couldn't you do it at your house? I don't have a Switch at my house. Why didn't you buy it with the game? It'll be more fun playing with three people rather than two. Well, yeah, but... Let's play Inazuka. Of course, miss. Let's go inside. Uh... Huh. Thought I could talk to Hina right away. After that, we played Mario Party for hours. This is actually quite fun. Apparently, you can play online as well, so I might play with Hina. After Inazuka and Miss left, I set up my computer and called Kaori. What's the matter? Hey! I bought a computer! Is it alright if I video call her, please? 
Okay then, I'll let you do it. Thanks! Finally got the chance to video call Hina, and she even allowed me to talk to her every Saturday. Yippee! I can see Hina soon! It was finally Saturday. Daddy! Hina! It's so good to see ya! I missed you, Daddy! How've you been? I'm good! You've grown so much! Did you know I grew five centimeters? Thanks, Kaori, for letting me talk to Hina. This much is okay, and you stayed away from her even though you wanted to see her, so... Thank you so much! I ended my first call. What a wonderful time it was. After that, I was looking forward to Saturday so much. One Saturday, when I was about to have a video call with Hina, they came. Come out and play, Heiji! I want to play Mario Party, Heiji! It's Inuzuka and Miss. I'll pretend I'm not home. Inazuka, it seems like Heiji isn't home. What a shame. Actually, I can tell that he's just pretending he's not home. How do you know? I have a feeling. Shit, his senses are super sharp. I should be okay if I keep quiet like this. Okay, miss. Let's break the door on the count of three. Okay. Huh? One, two, and three! Stop! So you are home. Hi. I'm gonna call Hina now. You can play anything, so just don't interrupt, please. All right. Does he really get it? Ah well, I ignored the two of them playing Mario Party and called Hina. Hina, did you have a nice day? Yeah, I had lots of fun. I read a book at home today. Wow, that sounds lovely. Who are those people? Huh? I'm Mei. I'm Inuzuka. Why are you guys behind me? Hi, Hina. Hello, we're your daddy's friends. Friends? That's great! I didn't even know you had friends, Daddy. I'm always at home, so I don't have any friends. I don't have friends, too. Would you be friends with me, Hina? Really? Yeah. Yay! May and Hina are friends now! Can I be your friend, too? You're different. That's so mean. Hina looks happy. Guess this is alright, too. Never knew Hina would become friends with Miss. I should make more opportunities for Hina to talk to Miss. Hina and Miss became real good friends. And they became like sisters. Wish I could let them see each other in person. I talked to Kaori about it. Hey, Kaori. What is it? Would you let Hina meet Miss? I can't allow that. What? I recently got a boyfriend. I'm going to marry him, so you have to stop calling her as well. How could this happen? Kaori told me I would have to stop the video call soon. The following Saturday, Inuzuka and Miss were at my place again. I'll see you next week, May. See you. Thank you, Miss. Heiji. What is it? Hina didn't look okay. Really? She was smiling, though. She looked like she was having fun talking to you. But she didn't look okay. I'm worried. Wonder what she meant. Was it because I'd have to stop calling Hina? But Kaori hasn't told her that we need to stop the phone calls. Was Miss thinking too much? I told myself it's probably a misunderstanding, or something made myself forget her words. Another week went by, and it was Saturday again. Inuzuka and Miss weren't here today. They could be here any minute, though. Hi, Daddy! Hi, Hina. How you doing? Good! How are you? Great! In that moment, I remembered the words Miss was saying. Hina, are you sure everything's okay? Uh-huh. Um, of course! Did she panic? Hey, can you not say weird stuff? Hina is happy living with me. Right, Hina? I yeah! You were there, Kaori? Of course. I always listen to you guys talk, just in case you say something weird. I see. Look, Daddy! I did some drawing today, look! Show it to me! What do you think? Wow, you're an artist! Thanks! What exactly did you draw? It's a quiz! Guess the answer! Hina showed me the drawing so that I could see it on my screen. There was a girl on the ground and a man looking over the girl. Maybe she drew me. You're incredible, Hina. It is a little creepy, but I think you have a talent. Next to the drawing were the words, Hello, elephants, lions, penguins. Her handwriting has improved so much as well. That moment... Yo! Mario Party! Mario Party! The two of them came into my room. Didn't I lock my door? How'd you come in? I locked the door! It took a few skills. Inazuka was amazing! What on earth did he do? Oh well, I'll just focus on Hina's drawing for now. Did you draw this, Hina? This is great! Right! But, isn't it a little bit scary? Yeah. Wonder what this is. Why does it have names of animals when you didn't draw any animals? It's a quiz! Try guessing the answer! Hello, elephants, lions, penguins... This is... What are you doing? Inuzuka suddenly muted the video call. Heiji, read this vertically. Vertically? H-E-L-P? Does this mean... Help. So she wasn't okay. 
This isn't good. Heiji, try and act normal. Okay. We'll go and rescue her after the video call. We can get there in about 30 minutes if we rush. Yeah. Sorry about that. Accidentally muted the call. You're so clumsy, Daddy. Did you get the answer to the quiz? Well, it's a little too difficult for me. I give up. Oh. Hina made a sad face. Hina made a drawing as well, so look at it. Huh? Mine's a quiz too. She had drawn two men and herself, and next to the drawing were the words octopus, kangaroo, alligator, yippee. The moment Hina saw the drawing, her face brightened up. Did you get it? Not a single bit. It's almost dinner time, so I'll see you soon. See you! And we finished the video call. Thanks, miss. Let's go, Heiji! Yes! We got into the car and headed for Hina's home. Inuzuka, I don't like violence. Everyone avoids me at school because my father is a Yakuza. But I allow you to do whatever. So please, help Hina! Of course! We finally got to Hina's home. We made Miss wait in the car. We sneaked into the garden and looked inside from the gap in between the curtain. We saw something unbelievable. A guy who seemed like Kaori's boyfriend was hitting Hina. And Kaori was smiling looking at it. I'll not forgive him for this. I smashed the window with the steel pipe that I had. What? Huh? Daddy, Hinazuka. We've come to rescue you, Hina. This way, Hina. Heiji, I'll take her to the car. Thank you. Heiji? What the hell do you think you're doing? What the hell do you think you're doing to my daughter? <laughs> Are you Kaori's ex-husband? You look weak for a Yakuza. Right? You are definitely stronger than him, Kenya. That's for sure. Hina is my punching bag. Don't just steal her from me. Did you know every time I hit her, she screams, Help me, Daddy! <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? It makes me want to punch her more. She's so annoying. Every time I threaten her, saying I'll feed her to the lions, she cries saying, I want to live with daddy. Feed her to the lions? Oh well, beat him up, will you, Kenya? All right then. Hey, do you think you can run? Where are you going? Come back. I didn't run. I went to cut the power. What? I can't see anything. The lights. Turn the lights on. I'm not strong like Inuzuka, so I have to use my brain to fight. I put on the night vision goggles I brought with me. I could very clearly see them panicking. Ah! What's the matter, Kaori? I first tied Kaori with a rope. I tried to tie her boyfriend next, but... You can't come close like this, can you? He started swinging his arms around randomly, so I couldn't get close to him. My eyes are starting to get used to the darkness. Shit. Don't have the advantage anymore. I have to fight him now. I grabbed him by his chest, but... Ah! He beat me easily. How weak. Now let's go and get my punching bag back then, shall we? I won't let you. I bet you're weak too. Ah! That should do. Inuzuka, thank you so much. You're so weak. You won't be able to protect Hina like that. We need to train when we get back. And what are you going to do now? I have something in mind. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. We drove Hina and Miss to our family boss's home, got some of the members to look after him, and headed to this place. And by this place, I mean the zoo. I thought of feeding him to the lions. Hey, wake up! Uh, where are we? Lions! You'll stay here for the night. You should pray that the lions don't eat ya. I put them in the cage where the lions are kept at the zoo. The lions are usually kept indoors at night, but I made a few phone calls and had them stay out for tonight. Generously put them on a platform, but if they fall, that's the end of them. Help us! Please, forgive us! You threatened you'll feed Hina to the lions, right? Well, it's your turn now. Bye! I also put the voice recorder that recorded them saying they did terrible things to Hina in the cage with them. The next day, the news that people were in the lion cage made the front page. Unfortunately, the two of them were still alive, but they were severely damaged psychologically. They couldn't answer anything the police asked them. They were later arrested because of the voice recorder and Hina's testimony. They're in prison now, but that's not enough. They hurt my daughter. I deliver them pictures of lions every week. A member who was in jail told me that they were crying out loud every time they saw the pictures. Serves them right. After that, I quit being a Yakuza and became a normal person. This was because I wanted to live with Hina again. Couldn't take in Hina if I was a Yakuza. I'm currently working as a normal person, wearing a suit and sweating my ass off while living with Hina and my mother. Inuzuka was the one who introduced me to the job. He's taking care of me so much. Wonder what Inuzuka and Miss are doing right now. Welcome home, Daddy! Hi, Heiji! Yo! I'm using Bowser next! I'm using Mario then! I'll be Luigi! Now I'm siblings with you, miss! Actually, I'll use Boo! Oh. What are you guys doing? Mario Party? That wasn't what I was asking! Come on, Daddy! Let's play! You'll be Waluigi! You look a bit like him! <laughs> okay, let's do it! <laughs> 
What was all of that emotional stuff for? I'll definitely make Hina have a happy life no matter what. To do that, I need to become strong like Inuzuka. Alright, I'll do my best. Uh, am I losing the minigames? Concentrate, Daddy! Sorry! I'm Ayane. I'm in my second year at high school. The best time of your life. I go eat pancakes with my friends after school and go and take Purikura. I enjoy my life every day. I love my high school life. Well, at least that's what I wanted to say. But in reality, I'm super tired every day. Although it is fun. I don't have time to hang out with my friends. I'm a member of the swimming club. My swimming club is famous for being fast and has a super strict curriculum. So I don't have time to enjoy my normal school life. I swim and swim and swim and swim. Ayane. Ayane! Uh -huh. Hey, Ayane! Five more minutes, Mom. Ayane, you better wake up. Hey, Ayane! What? Uh, Mom? I'm not your mother. Oh, um, I I'm sorry. See, I told you. Who gave you permission to sleep during classes? I understand swimming practices are hard, but you need to keep up with the studying as well. Yes, I will. I'm so sorry. Shit, I did it again. How many times do I have to do the same thing? I recently get too tired and fall asleep. I'm going to be in my third year soon, so I have to study hard as well. I can't stay like this. I'll do better in both studying and swimming. Are you alright, Ayane? You always sleep during classes recently. Shut up! You're one to talk, Haruto. You always sleep during classes as well. Uh-uh-uh. Not anymore. I don't sleep during classes anymore. The coach for the judo club changed, and you get thrown if you sleep during classes. So I thought of a brilliant plan. A brilliant plan? Is there a way to not fall asleep? <gasps> Tell me! <laughs> alright then, look. All you have to do is stand your pencil up on your desk like this. This way, the pencil will stab your face if you fall asleep. The fear keeps you awake. I named it Haruto's Brilliant Plan 1, so you can use it if you like. How stupid. That name is so lame as well. I'm never using that. Why? It's really effective, though. This is Haruto. He's my neighbor, and we went to the same school since elementary school. He's a nice guy, but is he a little clumsy or very clumsy? During our math class? Ouch! Haruto, what are you doing? We're in the middle of class. S sorry See, he's clumsy. What a truly brilliant plan. I endured the busy days and became a third year. The coach of the swimming club, Sata, appointed me as the captain. He told me that he would be even more strict to me now that I'm the captain. I'm scared of practice. How can it get harder? Hey, Ayane, did you hear? What is it, Himari? The swimming club coach is changing. Is it not Sata anymore? Yeah, it seems like it. Apparently he's sick, so he's going to be absent. I see. We'll miss him. Sata was a strict coach, but he was very thoughtful of students at the same time, so I quite liked him. I wonder who will be taking over. I don't know the specifics, but apparently he's a graduate of this school and he was in the swimming club. So I guess it's going to be strict either way. Yeah, I bet. The new coach came to practice that day and introduced himself. I'm Onigawara. I will be the new swimming club coach. Unlike Sata, I'm very strict and will include the latest methods of practice. So, who's the captain? I'm the captain. So you're the captain. Come to my office once today's practice is over. I have something to talk to you about practice from tomorrow onwards. Okay. I went to his office after practice as he requested. He was sitting there with his arm crossed looking bossy when I entered. Finally. Well, take a seat. Okay. So, Captain, do you remember that I told everyone that I will be including latest practice methods? Yes. I was thinking it would be better for the members to change into old school swimsuits. What do you think? What? Old school swimsuits? Yeah, those. The new swimming suits covers more skin, so the water resistance gets bigger. To make your records faster, the old school swimsuits are so much more suitable. What do you think? Would you let the other members this? Well, I've never heard of that. You have fabric that doesn't have large water resistance these days. No, no, Captain. This has been proved by my own experiments. It's better for your time and you get more motivated. I think it would be great, but what do you think? I don't want to. 
But I'll ask the others what they think. Thanks, I'm counting on you. I told this to everyone, but obviously everyone disliked the idea. I told Mr. Onigawara and then he said, oh, never mind then, and gave up quickly. He's a strange person. I wonder if he's all right. Hey, Ayane, I heard that the swimming coach changed. What's the new person like? Well, in a nutshell, he's strange. What does that mean? It means it's someone like you. Isn't that a little mean? I'm just kidding. Because he was strange and a little creepy from day one, the members didn't think he was very trustworthy. And even though he told us he would include latest practice methods, in reality, it felt like we were in the military in the 40s. He makes us get over everything with guts. Plus, Sata had already included the latest practice methods when he was in charge. I can't hear your voices. This is a sport, people. Let's keep those voices up. What do you mean, voices? We're swimming. How are we supposed to shout and swim at the same time? You can't get a good record with that volume. I thought you wanted to go to nationals. Come on, you're the captain. You need to set an example. Okay. Let's keep your voices up. I'm worried. Everyone was thinking the same. Just then, something happened. It wasn't anything big, but someone's forgetting their swimsuit. Hang on. No one wears this. Yeah, I've never seen it before. Whose is it? One day, a swimming suit wasn't taken, but a swimming suit that doesn't belong to anyone was lying there. It was an old school swimsuit, but we couldn't find out whose it was. Maybe someone forgot it after PE class? We were joking saying that Mr. Onigawa brought it to make one of us wear it, but we never got to the bottom of it. Days went by, and we only had one month until our big tournament begun. We and Mr. Onigawara were ready for a more intense practice. One day, after I got into my swimming suit and got on the poolside, I got ill. It wasn't any disease or anything. I was on my period. I wanted to participate in the practice, but when I'm on my period, I get very ill and can't practice properly. I went to Mr. Onigawara to say that I want to observe today's practice. Sir, I'm sorry, but my period came. Is it all right if I observe today? Oh, okay, that can't be helped. Thank you. As if I would say that. What? We only have a month until the tournament. And you're the captain for crying out loud. Get over it. But I'm really ill. Shut it. You're the captain. Don't be so naive. If you're going to observe, I won't let you compete in the next tournament. But I've been working so hard for this tournament. Okay, I understand. I'll practice. You should have said that from the beginning. Now, let's practice. I was ill, but I had to participate in the practice. Are you okay, Ayane? Yeah, thanks for worrying about me. I'll do what I can. But I couldn't swim properly because I was too ill. What the hell was that? Do you think we're playing around here? Do you really think this team can go to nationals with a captain like you? He was shouting something from the poolside, but I couldn't even listen to what he was saying. It, it got worse and... What do you think you're doing trying to get out without permission? Another hundred laps, let's go. I was at my limits and tried to get out of the pool, but I collapsed before I could get out. <sighs> Are you all right, INA? We need to take you to the school nurse. No. Uh, Mr. Onigawara, what are you saying? I won't let you go to the school nurse. Go to the shower room and clean yourself up and then get back into the pool. You need to be able to get over this kind of stuff with your guts. That's impossible. Come on, stand up. He grabbed me by my arm and forced me to stand. I have to swim, but I might drown if I continue swimming. I was that ill. I saw students from other clubs around the pool checking what was going on. They probably heard the scream. I saw someone wearing a judo suit climb over the fence. Who are you? What do you think you're doing wearing something like that on the poolside? I'm Haruto Susamori. I'm in the Uwasa High School Judo Club. I'm Ayane's childhood friend, and my favorite food is cake. My favorite saying is, life is full of hops and gowns. Who told you to introduce yourself? What is a judo club member doing here? Let go of her. I'll take her to the school nurse. What the hell are you on about? She's going to practice. We have a tournament coming up. We can't afford to have the captain not practice. You don't have to go to the shower. Just continue swimming. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Mr. Onikawada tried to kick me back into the pool. Ah! 
Ouch! Don't interfere! That moment, Haruto got in front of me and protected me and... Don't you dare hurt someone that's special to me! Ah! Haruto threw Mr. Onigawara beautifully. He landed in the pool, making a huge splash. Phew! Okay then, Ayane, let's go to the school nurse. Okay, uh, I can go by myself. Don't push yourself too hard, come on. But your chudo suit will get wet and it's sort of embarrassing. Just come. And then Haruto piggybacked me. His pack is really big. As I was thinking things like that, Mr. Onigawara got out of the pool. You lot! Do you think this is acceptable? I am not forgiving you! Never! Huh? <coughs> what? Why are you looking at me and screaming? Gah! He's a pervert! His t-shirt was soaked and his pants had slipped off. Underneath his t-shirt, he was wearing a women's old school swimsuit! Look! Don't look! When you said your record and motivation will improve, you were talking about yourself! What is all this fuss all about? Mr. Onigawara, why are you dressed like that? No, this isn't what it looks like! I can explain! His scream echoed around the entire school. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. Haruto took me to the school nurse. My mom came to pick me up and I went home that day. I got really better after resting at home. I need to thank Haruto properly later. I think he was saying something like, Don't you dare hurt someone special to me, but... Does that mean Mr. Onigawara got a pay reduction for unsuitable guidance? I wish he got fired, but he got mentally ill and quit because everyone in the school knew about his wearing women's swimsuits, and because the parents were calling non-stop to make the school fire him. He had lost hair, got thin, and just looked miserable when he was about to quit. I think it'll be difficult for him to work again somewhere. The swimming club is practicing very hard for the tournament. The teacher who came to sort the problem was understanding, so he said he'll let things slide for throwing a coach into the pool. I'm so glad. The old school swimsuit that was in the changing room was Mr. Onigawara's. I'm glad I didn't touch it. I asked Haruto to go home together, and right now we're walking home together. Haruto, thanks for what you did the other day. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help you. Can I ask you something? What is it? When you said, don't you dare hurt someone special to me, what did you mean by that? Huh? D did I say something like that? Yeah, you did. It's... it's nothing. Forget it. Why? Tell me! Nope. Please! It... it means that I... It means that... I... 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 What? Hey, watch out! Huh? Ah! Oh my god, Haruto! I'm so sorry! I was so close! He really doesn't have luck in times like these. That's also something I like about him. Oh, keep that a secret from Haruto, will you? Ugh. Good morning. What? What happened to me? You got hit by a baseball and passed out. Did I? Wait, what? Why am I sleeping on your lap? I'm so sorry. It's alright, you should lie down a little more. Okay then. Time has passed and I'm currently 32 years old. I've aged quite a lot. I want to go back to my high school days, right Haruto? Huh? What was that? I just thought high school was so much fun. Why all of a sudden? I just remembered the time you saved me. Huh. I don't remember doing that. What? You forgot? How could you forget? I'm just joking. Of course I remember. Even what happened at the Riverside? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me what you were about to say back then? What? No. Why? You always say it to me. Well, when you make me say it like this, it's kind of embarrassing. Oh, come on, say it. Okay. Come on. I... 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 Mm-hmm. Bam! Home run! Ah! That hurt! Oh, it hit you. Hey, Bing! I'm sorry. I tried to surprise Mommy and Daddy because you guys are having fun without me. But I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'll do the ping ping go away thing. Thanks. Pay pay go away. Is it better? Yup, I'm good as new. 
Oh, thank God, you have to be careful, Daddy. Huh? Me? Oh well. Rin, Ayane, I love you. That's not exactly it. You don't understand, girls, Daddy. You need to be more sensitive. What? High school was a wonderful memory, but I love the life I have with Haruto and Nin, and being able to have an ordinary but happy life. I'm so glad I married this man. I really am. I would marry him again, even if I could start my life over again.